What's going on today, YouTubers? Donnie Weebrick here. Sorry, it's been kind of a, a short time frame for videos here. We've got a lot of stuff going around in the house. So today I'm actually going to go and run over to Warhorse Harley Davidson and get my Rogue Glide 3 um, looked over, a once over basically. So, um, as you all well know, getting ready for a um, trip up to Laconia um, here in about mm, like 10 days, something like that. So, take it up to Warhorse Harley Davidson, have them check everything over, make sure that. Uh, you know, the clutch is working good, brakes are working good, um, have them check the belt. Um, and anything else that they uh, they wanna check over, make sure everything's good. Um, I did go over and like uh, retorque the bolts on my handlebars and on my uh, footboards and things like that. So just want them to give it a good once over. So let's get it. I am 
taking my Avon grips with me, however, so if I get down the road and absolutely hate these things, then I can switch them out. So, let you know all about that. For hanging in for this video again i just wanted to quickly go over uh, what i carry in my day bag and the description of a day bag is it's all the equipment that i will use throughout the day during a trip now this isn't my my everyday bag where if i'm cruising around the neighborhood around the city you know going to a, a local function i don't carry this stuff this is strictly for trips um, that way i've got one bag that's got everything i'm going to need in it at the moment that I need it. Um, like I said, the other bag's going to carry all my clothing. Um, the trunk of the trike, I'm going to be putting stuff in there that I don't have to have at all until I get to my destination. So, um, again, this is my daily bag. So, we'll get into it here real quick. Um, first off, in the front pouch, air pressure gauge. Check your air pressures on your tires every single day before you go out on a ride, especially with like changing temperatures, um, elevations, you know, things of that nature. We want to make sure that, that we're sitting where we need to be sitting. At. Sorry, very loud. Um, so when I'll start in the morning, um, generally it's, it's usually cooler. So I'll start with like a flannel and a jean jacket, um, pair of gloves. I'll be wearing my um, half helmet uh, for most of the trip. So, um, the other thing I have to switch into is a jean vest. So my jacket gets too hot, flannel gets too hot, I can take that off, put it in my day bag, throw uh, uh, my jean vest on over my t-shirt. Um, secondly, I've got a first aid kit. Um, this one's from Walmart, literally. That's all you really need to pick up. Um, not trying to be a trauma surgeon out there. I you know, was a paramedic for a long time. Um, so I don't really need all that stuff. I need basic stuff to take care of. Um, minor scrapes, cuts, abrasions. Um, this does have a cold pack in it. It's got a sling in it, you know, just things of that nature. Um, I also added a pair of trauma shears, which trauma shears you can use on absolutely anything. I mean, it goes from cutting jeans to cutting paper to, you know, whatever. You can cut a penny with these darn things. 
Um, also another thing that I added in on this one, since this has a little pouch on it, is extra batteries for my key fob. So you definitely want to think about that before a long trip. Um, I also put a uh, liquid bandage in here, also known as like super glue, um, and some ibuprofen. So always have yourself a little um, first aid kit. Um, next thing that I carry is they're actually uh, Propel and Gatorade um, uh, electrolytes. I'm just, I'm trying to come up with my words. So these are pouches that you can add to bottles of water. When I'm traveling, um, I'm not gonna be drinking my cherry Pepsi or my sweet tea like I normally do. So during the trip, um, you have to make sure that you're maintaining your electrolytes, you're not getting dehydrated. First sign of dehydration, headache. So if you get a headache, first thing you need to think about, have I been drinking enough? Have I been drinking the wrong stuff? So like I said, I've got little pouches of the uh, Propel and Gatorade Zero stuff in there. Also, another thing is um, we don't really eat very well when we're traveling. We'll stop at a gas station, pick up something real quick, get back on the road. Um, another thing that I carry with me, and this comes from my cycling background, um, I've got goo, um, like these are salted caramel energy gels. So these are gel shots. Um, they've got calories, they've got a little bit of caffeine, they've got some sodium in there so you can help with the electrolytes. Also, I've got the Cliff um, Energy Blocks, and then I've got a couple packages of the, uh, uh, here, I'll just show you, the Sports Beans. So, again, electrolytes, a little carbohydrates. Um, you're not eating, you know, a big, huge meal or anything, but if you're on the road, you get a little snacky. Um, the good thing about these is you can do this while you're riding. So, carry a few of those in there. Um, another thing I do is, these are just basic Walmart um, ditty bags, bathroom bags, whatever you want to call them. So I literally, instead of having like a bunch of loose materials, I like to have everything in, in pouches and bags. So this one, I've got um, two other pairs of sunglasses. I've got some lens wipes uh, to clean off the glasses. I've got sunscreen. So sunscreen, lens wipes, two uh, additional pair of glasses. I've got a pair of glasses that are the... Uh, um, yellow lens which helps at night the other pair I've got in here are um, the progressive lenses so depending on the lighting conditions it'll go from clear to dark so those work out really well and then I usually wear my Ray-Bans um, on the regular so sunglasses other thing that I've got here is gloves again another little ditty bag so I've got three different pairs of gloves I've got uh, a heavier pair that are leather um, I've got a medium pair that are actually mountain bike gloves, and then I've got another lighter pair that are mountain bike, bike gloves. The lighter pair I usually wear uh, quite a bit. Um, helps with the grips, um, helps with your grip, um, keeps a lot of the debris and stuff hitting your hands. You, you all know why you're wearing gloves, so wear gloves, don't wear gloves. Anyway, I've got a ditty bag here that I've got three different styles of gloves that I can wear, so I put those on there. Um, also, this here is a seat cover, um, a waterproof seat cover. So if I end up getting caught out in the rain somewhere, I'm not riding, uh, instead of putting a whole cover on the bike, this just covers up the seat and keeps the seat wet. Um, another little tidbit of info is these are the elastic black hair ties. I use those to hold rolls and stuff like that. It's really easy. They don't break like rubber bands and stuff do. Um, so seat cover. Other thing, of course, is my rain gear. So, got the pants, got the jacket. And if it's raining out, you also need a full face helmet if you don't want to get smacked in the face. So, yeah, I carry two different uh, style of helmets. You know, each person's choice. This is just everything that I actually carry. Um, Walmart again, dude wipes. Um, they're just sanitary wipes. They're flushable wipes. If you know, you, you know. Um, if you gotta clean your face, clean your hands, clean your arms, um, wipe anything down on your body, dude wipes work out great. Another thing I carry is a roll of duct tape or Gorilla tape. Um, you just, wherever you might need to use it, you might need just a little piece of it, it just kind of depends. But it's always good to have around. 
Um, other thing I carry is a uh, uh, an air pump that is programmable, rechargeable. It's got a flashlight on it, um, all that stuff. I'll I'll do a more in depth review on on this stuff, but it's really nice. You can set your your PSI on it, hit power, and it'll take your tire wherever you need to go. So that kind of goes along with the air pressure gauge. Another thing I've got is this is actually um, an old GoPro case that I put together and I've just got odds and ends tools. I've got uh, your hex keys, I've got uh, um, looks like a spanner wrench, razor blade, a little far extension, I've got Torx, I've got Phillips, you know just basic little tools here and there but uh, this case is kind of like a hard sided case but I've got tools in there um, and the other thing I've got is a uh, a portable charger quick quick start whatever got this one at Harbor Freight rechargeable you can even charge your phones you can charge anything off of these things so it's it's just a good go-to and like I said these are some of these things I don't carry every day with me um, but on trips I'm definitely carrying them a um, couple other little odds and ends stuff that I have is a disc lock we all know why we need disc locks and I also have a, uh, a cable lock that I will run through um, the D-rings on both of my bags and go underneath the luggage rack. It's just another added safety feature. You stop at the gas station, you go in, grab something to eat, use the restroom, whatever. Um, it's just another deter deterrent. You know, if, if they want to get the stuff out of the bags, they can. But they're going to have to undo eight straps or eight locks. And I'm going to have my rock straps on there, so they're going to have to take those off, and then they're going to have to deal with this as well. So, you know, by the time they're messing around, somebody's going to see them, but it's just a little added security on it. But that's pretty much everything that I keep in my day bag. And like I said, this is all stuff that I'll use throughout the day while traveling. It's not clothes, it's not changing shoes, it's none of that stuff. So, um, there you go. Again, I appreciate you guys checking out another video. Um, I'll end up doing another video probably Thursday about my loadout of how I'm loading everything. I really won't go in depth on my day bag here, but I will list um, a link to all the stuff that, that I've got on here in the description of my video. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it, man. Y'all be safe, be blessed, give more. Peace.